All right. Welcome, all members and non-members. I'm going to explain to you why they are lying about interest about inflation. They don't want interest rates to go up. To admit to inflation means you got to raise rates. And remember, this whole rally since 2009, 360 percent rally, is all due to low rates. Okay, so but that's taking a toll on the economy right now. It's imploding the economy from within. It's not helping, okay? Main Street is killing Main Street. And we're starting to finally see it in the over, o- overall stock market. Here's what I mean. When you keep on giving the top 1% low rates, they just keep buying stocks, pushing the market up. But the guy on Main Street, because the CEOs are putting the money towards stock buybacks instead of towards capital investment, what you call CapEx, that means... The guy on Main Street's not getting a raise. He is, he's not getting a real good raise, so he's not making much more money, and he's suffering, and he's going deeper in debt. And we've been doing this to him for 10 years. Now they're calling because the market has come to a complete halt. If you go and look, and I'll show you right here, the market stopped from 2009, the rally. Remember, every day we heard, all-time new high, all-time new high. That stopped. February 2018, pulled back. They tried to do it again, couldn't do it, October 2018. And I'll show you right here where that is. And here's October 2018 right in here. And then she pulled back again, 20%. And then she, then they came in with a story, right? The Chinese story and the Mexican story and all these stories to push it back up and more short covering. And it stopped again. So you got three tops, February, October, and then you got May 2019. Now what happened was they pushed the they pushed the market back down again. Okay, the market started to drop again. They wanted to stop stop it from failing again. Pulled back eight percent. They intervened with a story they may cut rates. So what happened is the market rallied, but it wasn't a rally. It was a short covering rally. What's the difference? A real rally, a good rally, a positive rally is where you have big investment money coming in, new money coming in. That wasn't happening. The same people who shorted just bought their own shares back. At the same time, remember what was happening. While this market was rallying, investors were selling. That's right. As a matter of fact, when the market was rallying, we had more people selling than buying. And we had the 10 yields going down, okay, which tells you the economy is breaking down. And so this was just a fake rally, all right? So that's why they're calling for more rate cuts because they're trying to break above these three highs back here and they just can't do it. So the big problem they have with this economy because they've been doing this for 10 years, screwing Main Street, okay, with these low rates for for the market to go up and the low rates are killing capital and cap X investment, capital investment. So people aren't getting wages and savings. Look at this. This is a line. This red line shows debt. That's how debt's going up. This, the blue line shows our economic growth. And when you have debt going up 35% faster than your economic growth, there's only one way down a <laughs> big, steep decline. They're just stalling it by trying to drop rates. And Trump's trying to drop rates because he wants to get reelected. That's where it is. So what you're seeing here is the truth. So there's no good message here. They can drop rates all they want, but it's a different time now. You're not going to get the same rally that you got that you got back in 2000 and uh, the rally you got back in 2009. It's just, it's just not going. It's just not going to happen. This is, you, you'll never see this again. It's not going to happen. Okay, all right. So they may get a little bit of a pop, but I still believe we're going to come down and revisit these lows right here first, and then another sell-off. That's what I think is going to happen. In the meantime, if they break out with, with lower rates. More QE, we'll be there to buy. The nice thing about our gang, our members, we short with the same ease as we buy. In fact, right now, our short positions in in uh, Intel, we're up 26%. Our short position Caterpillar, we're up 12%. Slumberjay, we're up 20%. This is what we do. 
So check it out. Go to philsgang.com. This way you're going to learn to go. No matter what the market's doing, you're going to have the same comfort going long as you are going short. But there's the truth. So every time you hear there's no inflation, now you know why they're doing it, to keep the market going up. And screw Main Street. See you on the charts.